Hey YouTube, you can see the Rasporas, happy. You can see the Cardinals, happy, but avoiding me. And you can see the Ember Tetras, happy. And you can see the six, apparently six, Ember Tet, um, Neorite Snails. Now, I've got three points to make about Neorite Snails. The first is eggshells. They will be able to locate eggshells in your tank. Um, this guy here, whom I call Patch, was able to find the eggshells in my tank when I put in this collection of broken eggshells about two or three days ago. The rest didn't gravitate towards it, but I'm getting into the habit now of when I clean half my tank, which is what I do every week, using two of these buckets, which makes it a sort of 12-13% water change. Uh, I'm going to put the neonites on top of these shells. Secondly, neonites are a bit like quantum particles in that you never quite know exactly where they are or what speed they're going. One of the eggshells just moved. Ah, there's a neonite behind it. See? Yes. The sneaky little things. Uh, their camouflage is quite effective. I find it quite hard to find my seven neonites um, in this tank, which of course you would think I've got pretty good control of. And the third thing is that um, I've seen a lot of different ways of getting calcium into the water for neonites, but I consider that breaking up the eggshells is reasonable, and I've got three main reasons for that. Uh, the first is that snails are, as a genus, pretty good with spatial sense. So if you take a domestic snail and throw it over your wall into your neighbours, it will usually come back. And if you remember Radio 4, BBC Radio 4, if you're in the UK, um, did a study on that. Um, so do not underestimate the spatial sense of snails. Second, um, I think it is more natural for broken eggshells to be at the bottom of the water that my neonites are in than, um, for example, indigestion tablets. I don't think there are many indigestion tablets floating around in the ponds and rivers of Zimbabwe. Just rescuing this little knee right here. The ponds and rivers of Zimbabwe. Yeah, and third, um, specifically, with regard to my own experiences of these neonites in this tank, uh, I've seen one of the neonites, I think, uh, did I tell you this already? Patch, he scooted over and started munching away on the eggshell straight away, and I've find, found them um, locating other things fairly rapidly, like rotting food, uh, especially when they first arrived and there was more of a build-up. Finally, last comment on the neonites is that the sort of poop in my tank has changed, so it's gone from being mainly brown poop um, to being mainly white floaty poop, and I infer from this that there's been A, a change in what they eat as opposed to the loach, and so a different sort of detritus, but also that their waste is different. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting my shrimp and plants, and I think that'll, uh, that, that's the next stage. Okay, thanks very much.